So now I'm in love with this country and we do a lot of business in Bangladesh. I think I will never leave this country again. Subo Sakal. My name is Paul Ethmophidis. I'm Greek, the country of Alexander the Great. And uh, one day, some months ago, I woke up and I said, uh, I'm looking for cocoa fiber because we need big quantities, cocoa fiber. In that moment, I thought, why don't I call Bangladesh? I hadn't been here before. And uh, I called uh, at random uh, a telephone number that I found in uh, in internet. And then on the other side, uh, there is a, a voice talking to me in Greek. I said, I made a mistake. I must have called another number. I said, no, 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 sir, my name is uh, Mozahid uh, in Greek. And I've been to Greece 17 years and I speak Greek. And then I said to God, thank you. Thank you for this gift. Because this guy was meant to meet me because we have parallel lives. He started many, many, many years back walking from here to Europe. And he ended up five years later doing all jobs possible to come to Greece. And there he established himself and he made good business. And then he decided to come back to Bangladesh and with his uh, honorable brother, very clever brother, very good with his hands and machines. He's an inventor. They made this beautiful company. And all these girls now, they are making uh, uh, cocoa uh, slippers, slippers made out of cocoa fibers. Beautiful, as you see in here. Very nice. And I'm very happy to be here because I feel uh, a member of this family, this big family. And it gives me energy to do more products. Last week, we brought this eh, from Greece. And this gentleman made this beautiful product in one day. So I'm very happy because it doesn't matter what we uh, imagine, what we think, what we ask. He is there to realize it, to make it. And um, I hope uh, in about 10 days we we'll start producing this to change uh, what, uh, is going, what is going on in uh, Bangladesh. That means all bikes, they are imported, you know, they are plastic for kids. So we we'll teach the new generation not to touch plastic anymore. Local product is going to produce that and uh, made out of wood, wood from Bangladesh. So we don't depend on anybody. We are going to make a product that would go all around the world in about 10 days. He promised me that and I know he keeps his promises. We start a factory, a new factory making bikes. Like what we do now with, uh, with the slippers, we do with other products. Let's say he invented last week a bag, a cotton bag, and he makes it uh, water repellent uh, no, he makes it, let's say, carrying goods from supermarkets with corn. I was so surprised. You can eat this bag. It's so natural. And all uh, the raw materials, the ingredients, let's say, because he uses something for food, eh, it is uh, produced here. So I'm very proud to be in this country because people are very hospitable. People are very energetic. People, they have a lot of imagination. The whole department here is an incubator where we dream of an idea early in the morning we vision the idea and in the afternoon we realize the idea thank you so much and you're of course invited to greece the country of philosophers uh, to visit us and see what we do what we want to export greece wants to export uh, philosophy wants to export culture and i'm here proud of being part of uh, the greek society that uh, long long time ago was the, let's say, light in the humanity because uh, we were busy with um, ideas, with democracy and all this. So nowadays, Greece is back again and we are exporting uh, products, we are exporting ideas and we are exporting peace in the world. We have been working with many, many, many countries in the world. Let's say in the neighborhood here with India, Pakistan, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, with many, many countries. Uh, and I hadn't been here. So now I'm in love with this country and we do a lot of business in Bangladesh. We have uh, something like 125 shops around the world and very soon we are starting a little shop in Dhaka. This is my first time, although I have been around Bangladesh in many, many countries, that it happened 
accidentally that I couldn't, I didn't come. And now because of the two brothers, because I'm here and I think I will never leave this country again. Donobad, Donobad, Bangladesh. I love Bangladesh. Okay. Okay. 